What's going on guys? AJ here from Colorado Fisher. And in today's episode, we're going after some post-spawn crappies. Temperatures are a lot higher, so is the water temp. They are a little more difficult to find, but with the right presentation, we can get into them. I'm out here with Paul and BJ today. I think we're gonna find them. It's gonna take some adjustment, but I hope you guys learn some tips and tricks to get into some crappie as well. Stay tuned and find how we do. Let's hope for some slaps, guys. Take it easy. All right, guys, I've made it on the boat. Here's DJ. Here's Paul Sauer. We're gonna try to work the dam, I think. It's got good depth. We're seeing fish jump. The water is dirty. That's what we're looking for. Let's see. So for these tough days with uh, crappie fishing, I really like a little bit underspin to cause some, you know, attention there with the flash when the sun and everything in this dirty water. Uh, it's a one eight ounce jig head with an underspin. And this twister tail is a two and a half incher. Really, that's what's working for me today and casting them against the rocks. <laughs> really slow. Look at I mean, I'm uh, spinning just... Sometimes I like to give it a little hop. I want that blade to flutter. Well, guys, they have uh, spawned and, and moved on and a little bit harder to catch. But if you fish next to deeper water with some structure and place where they can hide from the sun for a bit, at least in the morning, that's when you're going to look for them and really slow down your retrievals when that water gets really high post-spawn can be a little more challenging and it's more of a finesse finesse type of fishing keys that slow retrieval you don't want to let it sink too much because you can caught got him oh right no there. i didn't i had a bite right there boys oh yeah i'm getting nibbled let's get him guys let's get him yeah paul it seems like there's a nice school and circling around in this area Got him. Got him, boys. Got him, AJ. Got him, guys. Oh, I don't know what I have. It's not a crappie, I don't think. If it is, it's a thick one. Guys, I don't know what I got. Is it a crappie? Something big? Feels like a walleye. Got him. Oh, no, it's a, it's a thick crappie. Oh, nice crappie, dude. Oh, yeah, guys. I keep thinking I've gotten masters, but I don't. But, man, there we go. Damn, guys, they are just humpbacks. Paul, you're a good guesser. What do we think? That's 13. 13 on the dot, fellas. I just don't believe. I know, dude. Same here. You sure you've had bites? I'm positive, dude. All right. Guys, got something. You got him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jay is just up on the first yeah, fish yeah. of the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, oh, got oh, a nice, big crappie. Nice crappie, dude. Giant. That might be a massive. Yeah, Thank you, boy. DJ. That is a beautiful crappie. Oh, my God, out. guys. Look, this is the personal best ball for me. That might be a 15. Oh, here we go. Paul this thinks it's a master, game. folks. Believe it or not, folks, this doesn't even come close to a master. It is 13 inches barely. Come on, baby. I know you're all around here still. Got a hit. Oh, man. Did I? Got a fish. Got, a, got him, guys. Got the crappie. Stay on. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Not as big. Oh, bull it's not as big. Got him, you can flip him. Uh, on four pound test? No. All right, guys. It seems like I got a little circular school of crappie there that I've located. Oh, my God. Talk about wide. Guys, look. I can catch him anyway. I'm kidding. Paul's got one, folks. Get yes, the net. Sir. Get the net. We're not going to. Oh, that's a big crappie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful black crappie. Oh yeah. Yeah, boy. 
What a beautiful. That is a beautiful one. All right, Paul. How long did it take us? With this super slow retrieve. Come on, where the fish is at? Super slow. Smart. Got him. Got him. Got him. Guys, got him rather quickly. Got him, Paul. Not DJ. Nothing, mate. Guys, this is a tiny crappie. Ooh. Damn, right through the lipper. Right through the snoot. All right, guys, I'm here with D to the J and Paul to the S. So if there's a crappie there, I'm gonna get it. What is it Let's see if I can catch your toe. Whoa. That'd be funny, you, <laughs> that'd be funny you grab it and rip it off because it's four pound test. Whoa, I felt that graze my lip. I got him, got him, boys. Got him. Boys, I got him, boys. I would grab the net, but I'm way out there. No, it's okay, dude, I will. I will ask Paul to gently hand it to me. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna just, I got that. I got... Right, guys. You know, like, that's a massive hook set right there. I feel it on this gas, boys. I try not to move my hand, guys, but just the wrist. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. Yesterday, I called him from a conference room in front of my boss. I said, you gotta hear this guy. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, watch, he's gonna answer. Oh, for real? All right, DJ, I got the net, bro. Stay composed. I got the net. I got the net. I mean, that's six pounds, but don't risk it. It's about time I net your fish for once. All right, guys. DJ's got a nice slap. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. There you go. What'd you get him on? Can you share? We got him on this little chartreuse, all chartreuse, under spin right here. Hold on, let me stop. Good stuff, brother. Well, Paul, I haven't caught in a while, so that means there isn't any here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Paul's on one over there, guys. I'll help you. That's a master? I think Paul, oh no. Paul's got a fat 13. Oh, that's a good one. I know, the humpback guys, when you see a humpback, oh. Ah, 1.8. All right, guys, the wind has really, really picked up. Not white capping, just like a nice chop. And seems like the fishing has slowed down a little bit, but they're still around here. Still the same approach, slow retrievals. I have switched up the color to a pink. Um, see if it makes a difference but generally the brighter colors the better in this dirty water which we're lucky to have dj's got a chartreuse chartreuse and white so he's getting bites oh again he's got another one folks we're gonna help him net it Wow, look at how thick this is, people. I'm freaking real. It's tight. Oh my god. I'm hoping. Got him. Oh, Got gentlemen. Him. Gentlemen. Snagged something good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I got, boys. Can get that net? Ooh, a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie, DJ. Thank you. Yes. People are thinking that the AJ got a master. No. Right no. You don't think so? Mm -mm. No, I that's wish. A, that's, a, that's a 14, dude. Sure. Yep. It's got him. 
All right, guys, again, during that difficult bite, we found that dirty water. We started early, key is to start early before that water heats up, finding the dirty water, because that's where the fish, predator fish especially like to hide. A little bit of chop helps. This is a too much chop, but still not bad. All right, guys, I think the crappie bite is back on. We're gonna keep getting after them. We got that perfect chop, it slowed down a little bit, so let's see what we can do. All right, guys, another effective slow summertime method is a bobber with a gopal alive and a trout magnet head. And we're just gonna cast it towards the shore over here. And uh, we wait for the bite, which does happen. So and that's really pretty much it. And then we're gonna wait for that bite and then get him. All right, guys, we're gonna catch a couple more, I think, and, and call it a day. I like to just see it. Anywhere by the time you start reeling, I'll be back. Oh, got him. Got him, guys. Got him. I got him, DJ. I want you to get fishable. We'll park it here for a few. Yeah, that's a nice crappie. Is it a crappie? Yeah. Good one. Guys. Keep going, bro. Keep going. Guys, this is, I think, just going up and down. This is going to get him. Good luck. There's no way that every crappie is only over there. They gotta be all along us. Oh, got one. You do? Yeah. All right. Pause it. Oh, got one. Both of you? Yep, jumped up. All right, stop it. That's not a crappie, is it? Who do you have? I don't know. Do you guys need nets? I got this one. I'll whip it in. I got your net. No, I got it. Oh, I'll yeah, save for DJ. I got you. I got you. Right. Got that double up. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, we are done for the day. We ended up with many crappie. We all almost caught our limit. I'd say between the three of us, we each caught about 10 to 12 fish. Uh, it was a tough bite to begin with. We had to find the right areas where crappie would be during the summer times, which is a little difficult to find. You gotta try some things, wear things up, find dirty water, uh, everything that I explained earlier. So I hope you guys learned from that. I had fun with Paula and DJ here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you later. That's bully.